I've been in New York for about three weeks working on this project, which has been great. A lot of times when I, when I come to New York, I'm only here for a few days at a time. This trip's been great because I've gotten a lot of work done here in the Pace Studios. I've also gone out on the streets and done several murals. An amazing energy here in New York. You just hit the streets, you run into people. There's so much to see, there's so much to do. This series called Reagan and Friends was really inspired by the recent financial meltdown and how a, lo a lot of that I think was, was created by corporations having too much influence over legislation, over government. Even though a lot of people know me for making the Obama Hope poster and you know advocating for a presidential candidate, a lot of my work's been critical of leaders or forces, powerful forces that um, have shaped things in their own interest. But you know, this, this series was really just about protesting politicians as salespeople who sell you an idea that's packaged in an appealing way, but, um, they'll, but, but really there's something, there's something different altogether going on. Yeah, so sort of looking at Reagan, the anonymous businessman, and Nixon as um, guys in cheap, cheap suits, hustlers in cheap suits. But these are the largest, largest uh, screen prints I've ever done. And I was able to do that because Pace has the facility to do something larger than I can do in my own studio. So even though these are techniques that I've used in my own studio, I've never been able to go quite this large. These two images were designed to work loosely as a set. I originally did this power image to go with an article that was about how street art had built upon the foundation created by pop art. So the concept of taking Lichtenstein style and adding an ER to the POW. Um, to me, street art's a lot about self-empowerment. And then uh, this piece is less um, celebratory. Um, this is also using a hand grenade as a motif and the dots and the explosion like Lichtenstein, but um, this one's about the American military industrial complex and there's a lot of research and development and tax money that goes into that that's uh, really not cultivating something that I, I think is, uh, is beneficial. I think all that should be going into, into education. But, um, you know, aesthetically, I think the two work well together. And this one is a three color screen print over top of the collage. This is a five color screen print over top of the collage. And then there's additional stenciling in this lighter color that's been done on both of the images that's been done back on top. Um, so it's spray painting, screen printing, collage. My idea to use the collage in the backgrounds of my pieces rather than just clean paper really came from my street art practice. Going out and putting posters up on the street, the posters take on a bit of the character of the environment they're in and there's always walls where posters have accumulated, graffiti is accumulated and there's a certain charm to how that degrades over time and I felt that my work just on clean paper was, was too sterile compared to the really appealing organic subtleties that you find on the street. So I tried to recreate that feel in my studio. This series here, um, some of those are older images and some of them are newer, but I think the thing that you, unites them all is um, getting people to question you know, assumptions about symbols, stereotypes, and uh, war. The Arab woman is an attempt to get people to look at the Arab world as not just terrorists, but just human beings with the same, I think, desires to have families and live peacefully, with the exception of a very, very small number of extreme individuals. I think all of humanity is probably pretty similar. And so I think there's a, there's a humanity and an appeal to this woman that's undeniable, you know, but at the same time, there are stylistic things that I think that the average Westerner might have a, a negative knee-jerk reaction to. So getting people to confront uh, how incongruous that is was one of the attempts with that image. Never worked with handmade paper until now. Um, one of the things I, I think it's really beautiful about this paper is just uh, how it holds the ink really richly and you can see the impression of the plate in the paper really nicely. It, it takes the uh, takes the texture of the plate in a way that I think makes the paper feel like 
its own object. That's all part of the process of creating the paper itself, which um, was really cool for me to get to see and something that I can't do at my own studio. And uh, I, you know, I feel like I, I maximized my time here. I saw a lot of great people, went to a lot of great events. And uh, yeah, I'm uh, now okay to go back to LA where it's um, easier to withdraw from the action.